Hello, people of the internet. It's Lars Lehmann once again coming to you from the Sadowski Germany headquarters. And today we are going to talk about the heart of every Sadowski base, which is, of course, the amazing onboard preamp. You ready? Let's go. Now, the legendary Sadowski preamp is one of the most reliable and best sounding bass preamps out there on the market. So in this video, we are going to talk about uh, how you can get the most out of your Sadowski preamp, be it in a Sadowski bass or maybe in an upgraded uh, bass of whatever other brand you have. Oh, by the way, for my playing examples, I'm going to be using the Warwick Gnome mini bass head along with a Warwick Gnome cab. It's just a perfect combination. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. So on this control plate, you actually see four knobs, right? With the fourth knob actually being two knobs on top of each other, which is a so-called concentric or a stack knob, right? So uh, in the very first position, you have your uh, regular overall output control, right? Very even sounding. There you go. That is that volume knob. So this brings us to our second control, which is this one here. And this is actually your pickup selector. Uh, so in the middle position, you have both pickups on, turn it clockwise and you'll have the back pickup. Turn it counterclockwise and you'll have the front pickup. Back in the middle position, you'll have both pickups on. And this is something um, most other companies will not do. Usually when you turn it clockwise, you'll have the front pickup. Uh, Sadowski, however, has been doing that for ages, really. And uh, you'll definitely get used to it uh, rather quickly. And in case you still find it disturbing, you can just uh, switch the, the uh, connections of the balance control. Now this knob, we're going to uh, skip it for just a minute and take a closer look at the two-band EQ in position four. So this is a a stack knob with the upper ring uh, allowing for a maximum boost of 18 dB at uh, 4 kilohertz, which is this. Right, so when it's all the way down, um, I'm actually in, in uh, my flat setting. Then I'm bringing it up since this is boost only. I just have to turn it clockwise and uh, I'm bringing in the, the active EQ. Right. And the lower ring allows for a maximum boost of 18 dB at 40 Hertz. So that would be um, again in my flat setting. Here we go. You want to start out using the two band EQ in a uh, flat position. That is always a good way to start, you know, with both uh, controls down and then just, you know, adjust it to, to your liking. It sounds pretty good. Now onto this control knob, we have here the so-called Vintage Tone Control, VTC. And what this is, is it's actually a um, standard passive tone control. Um, so I'm in flat position when it's all the way up. I'm actually able to bring down the, the top end by turning it counterclockwise. And the cool thing about it is um, you can actually use the VTC both in passive as well as in active mode, right? So um, if you want your bass in passive mode, all you have to do is pull the VTC. Bam, and now I'm in passive mode. Right. VTC down a little bit. Now for active mode, all you have to do is to press down the vintage tone control. Boom. Back at my flat position here. Um, 
bring up the tube and EQ to your liking, right? And now what you want to do is, uh, let's say I have a little too much treble here, which uh, actually gives me a lot of string bars. Given I do not want that, now what I can do, I can either bring down the treble here, or I can you also use my VTC to sort of tame the top end, right? It's actually a very, very cool thing to play around with both the uh, treble knob as well as the vintage tone control at the same time because they allow for uh, a great variety of tonal options. Now, should you be a proud owner of a Metro Express Sadowski bass, you'll find that there is no vintage tone control included. However, should you want that feature, you can still buy it separately, you know, this one knob, and actually upgrade your Sadowski Metro Express bass. Now, this whole preamp is being powered with the help of a 9 volt battery that you can find here. Uh, in the rear of the instrument. Changing the battery is very easy because of the quick access electronics compartment cover and battery life should be something between 6 to 12 months. Now let me finish by saying that this whole circuit is actually very silent due to the uh, super effective shielding in conjunction with the noiseless Sadowski pickups. You will definitely have no problems when you're sitting in front of a computer screen or say on stage with huge lights and everything, it's not going to give you a problem at all. Like I said, the legendary Sadowski preamp is actually one of the best sounding and most reliable preamps on the market. And here's the good part. You can actually upgrade pretty much any bass with a Sadowski onboard preamp, right, as a replacement. Or if you do not want to modify your instrument, you may as well use a Sadowski outboard preamp. Okay, cool. That's it for now. I hope this helped. Um, once again, I'm Lars Lehmann for Sadowski Germany. Oh, should you have any questions, uh, please go to sadowskibase.com to check out all the info. That's it from me for a day. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>